You know that elbow bump thing everyone's doing to like stay COVID safe? I think that's great, but uh, when I try to do it, people still just go, No, man, let me dap you up. <laughs> like, I know I'm filming, and then I go, Poof. I'm like, oh, dude, that's a good one. And then I look at the camera to see if it's recording. And then I'm like, the bowl's empty. There's no, there's no shit in the bowl. <laughs> and then, I remember. And then I'm, then, then I'm like, oh, shit, wait, I wait. forgot to record it. And I got confused. <laughs> And then I turned around. <laughs> no, because I remember I opened the Snapchat and I just see the toilet bowl. I see I just see water. And I, I, I hear this <laughs> massive release. And, but nothing happens in the toilet bowl. And then like the video abruptly stops. <laughs> and then I look back. I had blown that whole load on the back of the toilet. Like on the, on the like on the handle on the wall. And like <laughs> Oh my god, the horror that struck me, because this was just gonna be a fun little goop that I was sending to my friend. And now I'm in a world of shit, quite literally. literally. These are cattails. They're just fairly common water reeds and they're not edible. But don't you think they ought to be? They've got stalks in these groupings of highly compressed seedlings that expand rapidly on impact. So they're not that good for eating. But even so, me want bite. We want plant corn dog delight. We want deep fried. We think water twinkie nice. Guys, I cannot tell you how many times I have tried to make this number go to zero, but I just. I don't even have to try. I live in Poland. Tell me you're in a long term relationship without telling me you're in a long term relationship. Go. I haven't had sex in weeks. <laughs> White male, step back to the side of my voice! Okay, white male, black male, stay! Identify as a white male. I am 25. I did not think that I was old and I had absolutely no issue with my age and then I saw a video earlier this week on TikTok of this girl who was like, only the younger generation will understand this. And the caption was 2000s babies. Don't fucking do that to me. I don't need a fucking quarter life crisis right now. Yeah, my hair is damaged and it's in a side part, but I don't know what a mortgage is. You don't either. What do you want me to do? Shake some ass? I'll throw some ass. That was horrible. Anyways, proof is in the pudding. I'm young and sprung. Ow. Um, anyways, I was like, you know what, Lauren? I'm confident. I don't need this. Um, you're not old. It's fine. And then I saw this video on TikTok of this girl that I like have a crush on. She's super pretty, super funny, whatever. And I was like, oh my God, she posted a TikTok. And the TikTok was like, if you use the crying laugh emoji, this one, the one I use all the fucking time, uh, she was like, if you use the crying laugh emoji, you're too old for me. And I was like, this is a joke. So I went to the comments and everyone was like, I would rather fucking die than speak to someone who uses the crying laugh emoji. I will hurl myself through a window. Is that what you fucking want? Tell me about a time you should have canceled the date, but you didn't. I went to go pick up a girl for our very first date, but her dad was at her house while she was getting ready. I start talking to him. I'm trying to make nice. It's very awkward for me to meet parents on account of the way I look. And uh, I'm doing my best, and he's being nice. At one point he goes, you know what? Most parents would be weird about all your tattoos, but I'm not. You know why? I said, no, sir, why? And he goes, because with all those tattoos, I know you're not a Jew. I'm Jewish. Straight up, y'all. Her pussy tasted like revenge. You. I would like to notify you, sir, that the last time we were at the grocery store, you said, hey, we have potatoes at home. I said, are you sure we have potatoes at home? You're like, yeah, it's in the cabinet. And guess what? I went to go make potatoes like the Irish bitch chef that I am. And lo and behold, there's no potatoes. And I told you, my people, oh my God, the famine. <laughs> Get out of the frame here. Make me look like a... I'm a big, strong adult. I'm a big... 
I'm it's I'm okay. I'm a grown woman. I'm a grown woman and I deserve respect. I deserve respect and I'm not to be talked down to, quite literally. But I can't <laughs> It's okay. I'll put you to bed now. Tell me your coworkers are all women without telling you your coworkers are all women. She's not even And if I was a girl in a perfect world, I still would not be sad with it. I may have, may be clinically insane. Um. Ra -ta -ta -ta. Here comes the. I guess you could say I'm not like other girls. So. <laughs> them. So my wife. Piss. <laughs> I do not look like this rabbit. Okay, here we go. Man. Uh, Take, for example, four Huey's most accomplished album. I think their undisputed masterpiece is Hip to Be Square. Frog Weezer. And we are henceforth driving a lean, mean, big bass wheel machine. I'm no longer a woman. I'm beef. Who else was radicalized by the Curious George soundtrack at the age of four years old? Shiss. Do you get it? Do you get the joke? Did anyone else take an ancestry DNA test and accidentally uncover a family seat? <laughs> okay, I got a story for you. My dad came up with the brilliant idea of giving the entire family ancestry DNA kits last year for Christmas. I too have identified as Irish because my last name is McDonald and my hair is bright fucking red! Turns out I'm 75% Norwegian and the rest is like German and British and there's zero Irish. Lo and behold, I found this out on St. Patty's Day. So I called him cracking up saying, guess what? I'm not Irish at all. He calls me at 10 o'clock, which we all know is like 3 a.m. dad time saying, there's no way you're not Irish. So with my dad on the phone, I log into my account to see if I have any DNA matches. And I had an exact paternal match. It just wasn't him. That's because you've only completed the courting ritual. I will now teach you how to initiate the challenge, which upon completion should have your man operating at about 200% more efficient inside of the relationship. Okay, you want to sneak up on him when he's vulnerable and not paying attention, so like he's asleep or something like that. Double wet willies in the ear. You're going to teleport to a pocket dimension where you will play Guitar Hero 3 pro battle against each other to paint it black. But before it gets to the, the drums or whatever it is, when it goes ding, da da ding, Guitars drop, you will now commence in a seven-day UFC battle, but you can only use just dance moves, okay? Your goal, uh, your main objective here is to get me in a rear neck and choke, and if I pass out, we're locked forever, and that's that you have completed the trial. If I tap, we're breaking up. And to finally consummate it, we will then... 30 minutes. Girls, little girls, girls. Welcome to Strange Books with Strangers. Would you like to choose a book? Yeah. Here are your options. Daddy's a simp. Don't expect much inheritance. <laughs> How Daddy Got an STD, Understanding Safe Sex and Prostitution, Mom plus Dad plus Chad. Your parents have formed a triad. Why Daddy Hits Mommy, A Kid's Guide to Understanding Alcoholism, Baba Black Sheep Deals with Another Routine Stop. Cinnamon, a horse forced into the sex trade. Child services, they're coming for you and your big sister too. Mommy got a DUI. Or Humpty Dumpty discovers workplace misconduct. I'm spoilt for choice, really. It's hard. Yeah. I'm going to say Mum, Dad and Chad. 
Yes, yes, I can do this. This question seems to be right in my wheelhouse, actually. This one says simply the best grandpa, even though I don't have kids. It also makes me look like a raging bisexual. This guy right here is a turtleneck that I fold down because my neck is not very long. It makes me look like someone who enjoys the fine arts. Who is also bisexual. Classic blue cashmere from H&M. Kind of the vibe of an all-American boy who likes boys and girls. This one's sick. Lastly, we got the world's best grandpa piece. This one is great for bisexuals. 